So now I'm going to uh, demonstrate what it's like to, with my Amazon Echo, to ask it uh, information based upon my Fitbit data. Uh, the Fitbit I'm using here is the Fitbit Blaze that I've been wearing on my left wrist. Now that syncs uh, to uh, via my iPhone. And for example, let's see what we can do with it. And the kind of there's about, I believe there's 50 or 60 different types of responses pre-programmed currently for Fitbit with the Echo. So Alexa, ask Fitbit how I'm doing today. You have taken about 500 steps and I don't see any active minutes data for you yet today. Every step counts. Okay, let me try that again because maybe the response has changed. Alexa, ask Fitbit how I'm doing today. You have taken about 500 steps and I don't see any active minutes data for you yet today. Build a better routine one day at a time. So you see those words of encouragement at the end are slightly different the second time around. Let's ask again. Um, Alexa, ask Fitbit how I'm doing today. Alexa, ask Fitbit how I'm doing today. You have taken about 500 steps and I don't see any active minutes data for you yet today. Sometimes the hardest part of the workout is that first step out the door. Take it anyway. Interesting philosophical advice there. Um, could be my next personal trainer then. Just kidding. So let's try again. Alexa, ask Fitbit how I'm doing today. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Alexa, ask Fitbit how I'm doing today. You have taken about 500 steps and I don't see any active minutes data for you yet today. Any activity is good activity. Alexa, ask Fitbit how many active minutes I have today. I don't see any active minutes logged for today. Alexa, Ask Fitbit how many steps I've taken. You've taken about 500 steps. You'll need 9,500 more steps to hit your goal today. Walk now. Thank me later. Oh, that's nice of her. Alexa, ask Fitbit what my resting heart rate is. Your resting heart rate today has been 73 beats per minute. Alexa, ask Fitbit how I slept last night. You fell asleep at 3.42 a.m. and slept for 3 hours and 59 minutes. Hopefully tonight you'll sleep right. Uh, I actually haven't been feeling that well over the last few days. So my sleep has been uh, quite erratic. Um, let's try it in a different accent. Alexa, ask Fitbit how I slept last night. You fell asleep at 3.42 a.m. and slept for 3 hours and 59 minutes. Hope you sleep well tonight. That was my really bad American accent. Let's try a strong Indian accent. Alexa, ask Fitbit how I'm doing today. You have taken about 500 steps and I don't see any active minutes data for you yet today. Go get them, tiger. Interesting. So it works with, uh, 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 you know, my voice with a, 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 some different accents. Um, I would try a whole range of other accents, but I don't want to embarrass myself any further. But as you can see, um, you know, it's quite interesting, the functionality that um, they've added here. And it makes me wonder, uh, in the future as consumers, will we be using technology like Amazon Echo to query our health records, not just the data that's collected uh, or recorded by our doctor, but just any source of data relating to our health, even potentially that's, you know, uh, data that's linked. So for example, one of the things I was thinking about is that could I in the future be able to say to, um, you know, the Echo device, um, what should I be eating for dinner? And it uses information based upon my electronic medical records from the NHS, it uses my Fitbit data to, in terms of my activity, it, may, it maybe uses my last uh, lab test, blood test data, and also it's linked possibly to my smart fridge so it knows what's in the fridge to come up with, okay, these are the suggested recipes for dinner tonight. Um, so this is just uh, you know, a really interesting technology and it makes, also, makes me also wonder about how useful would this be for engaging with your health if you are, for example, 
um, you're blind, partially sighted, you've got dexterity problems in your fingers and hands, which means it's difficult to tap away into a smartphone. Uh, maybe uh, you're, um, you've got limited mobility. Uh, so many different use cases. Uh, and um, yeah, feel free to uh, connect with me on Twitter at Manish Janaja, or one word. Um, and I look forward to discussing this further. Bye for now.